Welcome to this uh, quick introduction to FastTrans. FastTrans is a uh, transcoder and uh, you can download it from this uh, website. Just scroll down and uh, click on download latest. And uh, once you've done that, then you just unzip the package. No need to install anything. Uh, before we are starting the actual uh, walkthrough, I'm going to create a few folders. FastTrans is monitoring uh, the folders and uh, this allows us to create a number of folders where we can uh, drop the finished videos that we produce to achieve different types of transcoding. I'm just going to create one in. And one out folder. This could of course uh, be on a server, something like uh, Avid Shared Storage, but uh, for now I'm just creating it on my own hard drive. Starting up uh, FastTrans, uh, you see two different uh, areas. The left one is the list of workflows, and to the right we have the area where the different nodes in the workflows will be displayed. But before we get to that, let me just go into the configuration and uh, just um, go and change the folder where the intermediate uh, files will be stored. Okay, let's uh, start by giving this workflow a name uh, MP4 right. Interface. To add the first node, we just right click in the right part of the interface and insert a processor. This will be a monitor and I want to monitor a folder. To decide what folder I'm, I'm going to monitor, I just click in the top part of uh, the node and I can go in and choose. And OK, and that's it. Uh, the next part I want to do is to add a decoder. So click on AV Media. And then I want to remove the deinterlacing. So I'm going to add a filter called deinterlace. Simple. Finally, I want to encode this into an MP4 file. Uh, to deinterlace, by the way, uh, I can click here and I can choose a few different methods. Um, I've had uh, success with uh, Yardif, so I'm going to pick that. Then in the MP4 settings, I'm going to increase the bitrate for the audio to the maximum setting and choose 48 kilohertz. Profile will be main and the bitrate for the video overall will be 10 megabit. Now this needs to go somewhere so I need to add one more node and that's delivery and again a folder. Now I'm gonna pick the out folder that I chose, uh, that I made in the in the first part here. And I want to keep unique names just in case the same file gets dropped in twice. So it won't overwrite. Okay, 
at this stage we need to connect the different nodes. So um, going on the blue dot, pulling it over to the next node, doing the same thing for the rest. And if I want to tidy up, I can click on Auto Arrange. Then we need to save the workflow. And finally, we need to start it up. Okay, we're now ready to receive a file, so let's uh, do that. And while that one is copying, we can open the monitoring uh, here so we can see what's going to happen. Okay, now you see that it started up. It shows us what workflow is running, what file is being processed, and at what step of the processing we're at. Then, status and the progress.